ocean of stars who first gazed up at it, dreamt that it held the key to humanity's future. How vast the universe must have seemed to them, unending and eternal, filled with infinite possibility. But if only those dreamers knew what I know now, that humankind harbors a voracious hunger, one not even the limitless cosmos can sate. Another 24 hours and we're off the clock. Gotta say, this has been one easy gig. Yes, I suppose it has. Would you care for more coffee, Ray? Sure. Don't get ahead of yourself, Ray. Er, uh, Captain. Seriously, something's up today. I can feel it. Your sixth sense again. I'll take your word for it. Human's intuition is a mystery to me. Hey. Danger tends to rear its ugly head when you least expect it. Maybe pirates are sneaking up on us as we speak. Oh, ha ha, laugh it up, you guys. <laughs> For real, though, you've got to relax. Look how quiet it is out there. Huh? See? This is what you get for ignoring me. Probably just some random asteroid field or something. Scanning craft. Verified. Pangalactic Federation battleship, the Astoria. As in their latest and greatest. I heard it also has a Kenny on board. What's it doing so far outside of Fed space? Uh, I think they're aiming at us. Warning. Phase cannon fired. Distance 350,000 clicks. <sighs> Take evasive action. Starboard thrusters to full power. There's no time. Everyone brace for impact. Shields holding at 78%. Why are Patch they doing this? Patch a signal through. Tell them we're not hostile, damn it. No response. Second strike incoming. Get schematics on screen. Find us a way out of here now. No good. Cannons fired at our projected course. Make it stop! Shields down to 12%. Weapons activity detected. Readying third strike. Still no response from the Astoria. It seems they have no intention of letting us go. Ray, they've ceased fire. Your orders. Abandon ship. All crew members, get to an escape pod. Wait, we must consider the cargo. Is evacuating the correct course of action? These are feds we're dealing with here. If we don't clear out now, we're goddamn space dust. This job isn't worth our lives. Captain's orders, evacuate immediately. Got a loose end to tie up. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you. I'll be fine. Come on. Open, you stupid... Power has been cut from this section of the ship. No matter how hard you try, you won't be able to open that door. Elena? The Astoria has fired on us. I'm sorry, but there's not enough time to save the cargo before impact. You have one minute. That's more than enough time. Now help! Yes, Captain. No! Hey! Stop! What do you think you're doing? Elena! Elena! The 
crew of the Edis needs you. Good luck, Ray. And goodbye. No! Computer. Number and location of all ejected pods. According to the latest records, nine of the 49 escape pods have been successfully jettisoned and are now untraceable. This ocean of stars. Who first gazed up at it? Dreamt that it held the key to humanity's future. the universe must have seemed to them, unending and eternal, filled with infinite possibility. Setting course, fourth planet of the Aster star system, warp 2.1, estimated arrival, five days. An underdeveloped planet? I can't take this! But humanity is insatiable. It is that hunger, that bottomless greed, that drives them, and they will not rest until they have claimed every last star in the sky. Escape vessel located within communication range. <gasps> That's gotta be Chloe. Open up a channel. Ray? Oh, thank goodness! Is Elena okay? It is you. Man, I'm glad to hear your voice. Elena, she... she's safe. So let's you and me worry about our own hunts, huh? We're headed for an underdeveloped planet, Ray. Relax. People back home probably just got our Mayday call. They're coming. So until they get here, just think of this as an adventure, okay? Entering orbit around the fourth planet in the Aster star system. If only those dreamers knew what I know now. That you can only push the universe so far before it starts to push back. Arriving on Aster 4. Planetary surface found to be sufficient for all life forms aboard craft. Initiating emergency protocol. Distress signal activated. All right. Let's hope someone picks that up. Otherwise, we are SOL. Oh, my legs are freaking killing me. Could do with a stretch. Well, the pod's electronics seem to be working just fine. It is just for emergency escape, though, so useless now. Right. Computer, give me all known locations of Vetus crew members. Unable to locate escape crafts jettisoned from the Edis. Of course. So then where's Chloe's pod? I saw her enter orbit. The vessel's descent was interrupted by an electromagnetic cannon. The onboard computer was likely damaged in the attack. Underdeveloped my ass. Computer, 
Get an emergency signal through to my brother, Antonio Lawrence. And be quick about it. Attempting to contact Antonio Lawrence, captain of the merchant vessel Aldous. What's going on? But not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. I right, let's rumble. Enemies up ahead. To me, Frank it. Please, uh, we near close. Thanks for that. Don't know what I would have done if you silence. Who are you? <laughs> Sheesh. And if I tell you, you'll let me go, right? Let you go. After witnessing you exiting a foreign ship, <laughs> you're more fool than you look. Wait. Uh, you two know that's a ship? Let me guess. You're the assholes who shot us down, aren't you? Incoming long-range subspace transmission from Antonio Lawrence. Huh? Raymond, it's me, Antonio. Can you hear me? Ray! Come in! I knew you weren't alone. <clears throat> Show yourself! Huh? Who in the hell are you? This isn't Raymond Lawrence! Step into the light! Hey, asshole! Harm a single hair on my brother, and your planet's scorched Earth, you hear me? Raymond, where are you? How is this possible? This voice? I see no one. Uh, big ask, I know, but... Mind if I answer him real quick? After that, I swear, I'm all yours. Very well. Princess! If he truly had armed fighters waiting, we would be slain several times over by now. Go on, do not keep your comrade waiting, Sir Raymond Lawrence. Oh, why, thank you, milady. And uh, as for your butler, or whatever, mind telling him to back it up? How dare you! As you wish. We shall give you the space you ask in good faith. In exchange, you will tell us who you are and the nature of your talking airship. Awesome. Okay. Sounds like we got a deal. What the feds don't know can't hurt them. Antonio? It's me, Raymond. <sighs> Ray! Are you okay? Yeah, define okay. Had a run-in with the Federation, and it didn't end too well for the Yidus. What the hell? Emergency landing on some planet called Aster 4. Locals are real friendly. And listening right now. Are you shitting me? Chloe's down here somewhere too, but I lost track of her pod on entry. And big question mark on the rest. Look, you've got to get here, man. We need you. Sir Raymond, Antonio... Hey, that voice. That one of Aster's friendly locals. I can guarantee Raymond's safety while he is stranded in this land, on one condition. You answer my question. Are you aligned with the Vale Empire? The who? Yeah, uh, don't even know him. Vile dissembler! Al Baird. Your comrades. Have you any idea of their whereabouts? Well, at the moment, not a clue. A girl named Chloe was riding one of these when she crashed way that away. And this ship, 
Is it possible for anyone to pilot it? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the point of it. That said, mine's run out of juice, so it's not going anywhere for the time being. So, if we provide it with more of this juice, theoretically, would we be able to pilot it? <laughs> Aren't you a curious one? Huh? <laughs> Can it be? Hey, speak of the devil. Madness. Oh, how magnificent. Computer, get me a read on that craft. Was it from the Yidus? Who's on it? Readings indicate the pod was also ejected from the Edis. No passenger signal detected. Is there a town or something in that direction? Um, not That's a town, no. Only the Madoom ruins. Albert, you must see this. Uh, Highness. Thanks for the info. Oh, and, uh, gonna hang on to this for a while longer. Halt! Sorry, buddy, but no can do. Hold there. We will accompany you. The ruins can be a treacherous place. And two friendly locals could assist. Oh, for the love of... Ah, fair point. Thank you. You may call me Leticia. And this gentleman here is Albert. Stand down, Albert. We are here to help him. Is that clear? As you wish. Awesome. Hey, Antonio. We'll catch up later, all right? Wish us luck. Uh, roger that. Stay safe down there. Oh. <laughs> you guys. I'll explain the ins and outs of all this junk once I know my crew's safe. So, we got a deal? Yes, we do. Shall we then, Raymond? Uh, uh, wait. No more full name stuff. Just Ray is good. <laughs> All right, uh, Ray. Awesome. Okay, let's move. Approaching the Madoom ruins. If we follow the pillars to the west, it should come into view. It's this way, right? Correct. Let us continue along this path. That's over with. Uh, 
been a while since I've swung a sword around, but I guess I still need it. Get me tomorrow. So the forest is full of monsters at night, huh? Guess I'm lucky. Lucky to have met some people out here. of the ruins. Got it. Let's go. Stairs look a little dangerous. Even if we did try to climb them, they'd probably give way. And then perhaps we should go around. The west side looks scalable, does it not? Visibility is poor in such darkness. Pray, mind your footing. I'm good. As long as whatever we just saw doesn't show its ugly face. A whole dimension over this area. Rarely should it appear at all. Well, that is... Happy now! Well, that's over with. You two have some killer moves. Pretty used to fighting monsters, too, by the look of it. Is that how it is for everyone that lives here? Yes! Well, more or less. Uh, whoa.
So, this is Medum, huh? It's friggin' massive. Ancient and powerful Osirian Semiomancer once called these powers all the time. And written in the old texts. Okay, didn't get all of that, but I'll save the Q&A for later. For now, let's focus on getting in and getting out. I can see why they're called ruins. It doesn't even look like we can get through. Long has it been since this place received visitors. Traversal here will undoubtedly be treacherous. Good thing I've got you two here to show me the way. Though we are familiar with the area, this is our first time actually being here. Tread carefully. I'm no expert on the regional history, but folks here don't seem too friendly. Before the kingdom became as we know it now, this was the heart of civilization in the western part of the continent. It is said that much of the culture and knowledge that served as the foundation of our kingdom was created in this very place. So the riffraff left behind by the changing times wind up here, left to fend for themselves, huh? Escape pod signal above. Current position. No passenger signal identified. Device is probably just busted. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Finally made it to the ruins. Now let's head inside. Please, please, please be okay. You gotta be kidding me. What is it? A 
Elena. Why? Ray. Why'd I have to play the hero? Why couldn't I just get in the damn escape pod? <laughs> Some captain I am. Uh, Ray! Duma production model 004213 activating. Confirmed. Life forms in need of protection. Whoa, hey, what the heck's this supposed to be? Warning. Warning. Hostile entities identified. Engaging defensive mode. Highness, are you all right? I believe so. But what? Yeah, what is this? Later. Right now, we. We've got company.
For real? The hell is this? <sighs> I thought it was yours. More like in my care than actually mine. Hey, uh, Duma, was it? So, uh, what's your deal? Oh, so now you decide to give us the silent treatment. Why, it is just marvelous. Tell me, is this some new form of semiomancy? There's that word again. What, is it like your version of symbology or something? Symbology? Uh, never mind. Uh, anyway, thanks you two. I really appreciate it. Oh, and while I'm at it, here. And what will you do once we part? Well, try and figure out where my friends are, for one. Uh, these lands are vast. What will you do for lodging, for food, for survival? What if your companions are across the sea? Would you swim? To that end, Ray, I have a proposition for you. Assist us in our journey, and we shall assist you in yours. Are you sure that's smart? Only thing you know about me is my name. And we ought rectify that at once, for learning more about the other is sure to benefit us both. Highness? Albert, should Raymond agree, he will be in our care. Whatever comes of this, I shall bear the consequences. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Leticia Asarius, Crown Princess of Asarius. And this is Albert Bergholm, my royal retainer. Oh, shoot. I thought he was kidding when he called you Highness. Oh, you think us liars? Uh, put yourself in my shoes. Doubt you'd be saying anything differently. <laughs> Indeed. Not over far from these ruins is the village of Larset. There, we shall find a quiet moment to talk. I, uh, might have to hold on to this for a while. Please do. Consider it a symbol of the trust we have placed in you. <sighs> Morning already. Well, this is a fine mess we found ourselves in. Think of this as something new. Something extraordinary. Don't let me down! It's not my intention. This Larset place, anywhere near here? We should be able to reach it by evening if we leave immediately. Ah, uh, you do realize we're running on no sleep, don't you? If I may, I think I know how to make the trip a deal safer. We employ Duma. Its powers of levitation should let us skirt any dangers. That true? Oh, we forget they are a bashful sort. How inconsiderate of us. Uh... and scenery are different on the return trip. Are you certain we are going in the correct direction? There is no need for concern. This is the way, I assure you. With nothing but dilapidated ruins as landmarks, even the most seasoned adventurers might get lost.
Enemies up ahead. Steady, everyone. They will regret their interference. We must pass through this building, no? Indeed. The interior may be complicated, so take care not to lose your way. The exit is on the southern side of the room. <laughs> that Duma could probably just zip around a building like this. Initiate emergency protocols. Arms are killing. See that? Threat neutralized. Threat detected ahead. About time for a rest. Sweet! Enemies, dead ahead! Get the jump on down this wreck! Number ten! Not with my promise left unfulfilled. We are nearing the exit of the ruins. We must pass southbound through this forest in order to reach Larset village, must we not? Yes. If we continue southeast from here, we should be near the place where we first met. That's so. Well, if it's on the way, mind if we stop by my pod for a sec? Of course. Let us be off then. Destroy. Correct neutralized. Oh, <laughs> 
Threat detected ahead. Stay sharp. Not with my promise left unfulfilled. Enemies, dead ahead! Energy levels low. See that? We must pass through the forest to reach Larset village. Time offers us no respite. I know, I'll be quick about it. Deterred. Initiate emergency protocol. Destroy. Threat neutralized. Huh. Uh, should be just a little ways more to the east. Let me call my brother real quick before we head out. Antonio. Do you read me? Ray, loud and clear. Was anyone in the pod? Nope, just freight. It was one of the pods Elena ejected, right before the Edis went down. Wait, she did the ejecting? Then- but I don't want to hear it, okay? As the ship's captain, I have to assume everyone on the crew's safe until accounted for, right? Yeah. Uh, for now, I'm gonna look for Chloe. And I'm gonna do it with the two from yesterday. Think you can trust them? Does it matter? I need them. But even if I didn't, they're reasonable people. Plus, they saved my life. That's enough for me. All right. I'm gonna try to get to you as fast as I can. Tell Dad not to lose any hair over it, will you? Too late. He already has over the fact that you called me for help, and not him. <laughs> Parents, man. <laughs> hey, Ray. Before you go, let me talk with your two traveling companions. Hey, uh, uh my bro says he wants to talk with you guys. Uh, uh hello? Yes? Uh, 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 yesterday, I was pretty upset and said some pretty rude things to you. Apologies for not doing this face to face. I'd like to make a fresh start. My name is Antonio Lawrence, Raymond's older brother. Uh, Sir Antonio, my name is Leticia Asarius. And with me is... Uh, um, Albert Bergholm, sir. Miss Osarius, Mr. Bergholm. I'm sure Raymond here comes off as a strange and weird man. But please, look after my little brother for me. The Lawrence family comes from a long line of well-known merchants. We always pay our debts. Nothing to fear, sir. We shall do our utmost to ensure the safety of your brother. I appreciate it. Ray, try not to be too much of an annoyance to your new friends. Good luck. Over and out. You are loved. I wish, but nah, you just can't help treating me like a kid. <laughs> I don't know about you. But I can't wait to sleep in a bed. Let's get going. Agreed. Let us depart. <laughs> <laughs>